I'm Jeff Pospisil, the 10-Minute Treasurer with Practical Advice for Improving Your Church's Financial Future. In this video, I'm going to do something a little different than normal. I am going to uh, share with you a day in the life of a treasurer. So I tried to record my day so that you could see the different uh, rituals and patterns and habits that I have that I try to boost my day. Um, some of them I've learned recently over the last couple months. Some of them I've, I've uh, developed over the last 10, 20 years. But either way, I thought some of this might be helpful to you and maybe it'll be interesting. Word of warning, the videoing is not my strong suit, so that'll be a little bit shaky, but here we go. So pretty much every morning I wake up at 5.30 a.m. and after I use the bathroom, I grab my Buffalo Bills cup, go Bills, and I top that thing off with water. And I'm just gonna chug that tall glass of water uh, first thing and I just have been doing that for years. I find um, that if I start trying to rehydrate this way, I just feel better throughout the day. Um, I do uh, sleep in one day. I don't set an alarm on Sunday and I'll usually wake up sometime around 6 30 or 7 o'clock. And then since I've hydrated, now I can dehydrate myself by my first cup of coffee for the day. My coffee is set on a timer, so at 5.20 a.m. it is brewing, and so by the time I get out here, it is ready to go. And I'm going to take this mug and head on downstairs where I'm going to spend the next hour um, in Bible study and prayer. So the uh, I have a timer set on that lamp as well as that flash there. That's a Sensi, so that way when I get downstairs, the, the room's already lit up and it's starting to smell like mint. Um, I don't have to worry about tripping over anything and it's, it, it ends up being a very pleasant space then. And I usually read through the Bible in a year. So you read through about five or six pages and I happen to be reading through the Bible alphabetically this year. So I'm going to start at, I just made up that bookmark, uh, first Chronicles, then Corinthians and John and so forth. So then by about 6.30 a.m., I'm going online. I'm going to upload my steps. I'm going to check my banking, my email, my personal emails, uh, Facebook, weather. Uh, also check the library. We check out a lot of books from our library online. So, and I check my blog and stuff. And then I'm not using the bathroom here, don't worry. But I already set out my clothes for the day. I happen to wear the same outfit every day. So it's, I have five sets of that outfit. After I get all the way ready and get the kids off to school, it's time for me to pack up my own lunch. So I'll throw a nice pack in my lunch box. And I made this up again the night before as well. So um, usually a pretty simple lunch, although it's not easy to pack with one hand when you're trying to record with the other hand. So most of the time I will just uh, pack a lunch. Uh, as, And then after I get that packed, um, the next thing I have to do is I have to pack a backpack for my planner and my pens and any other stuff I have to carry. Because a lot of times what I'll do is I'll walk to work and occasionally I'll ride my bike to work. So I want to have some, at least some hands free for that. Um, so when I walk to work, I have a new flip phone. And so sometimes what I'll do is I'll I'll open up my FM radio app and I like to listen to radio sometimes when I'm walking to work or uh, maybe about half the time I might just listen to the sound of Mitchell. Yeah, I Like I said, I almost always walk no matter what the weather's like um, or I ride my bike if it's really nice weather and it's about a nine block walk and it takes me about 10 minutes. And during the pandemic, I end up usually being the first one in the office we have a little key fob so I, the first one that hits it opens up the office for the day turn on the lights and then there's this little uh tv remote there so we have a welcome screen and that comes on automatically and goes off automatically as well but you do have to set the pictures going so we have an office map, um, scripture, and then a quote. And I've been setting those up. Usually Kelsey Morgan would do that. And she does a better job than I do. Then I'll turn on the lights in the office. 
And I don't turn on all the lights because there's another light switch over there. I just don't see the need to, to light up the whole office or even heat the whole office. So this part of the office is actually quite a bit cooler. And then my office um, is back here and that's set to about 70 degrees. And I don't use the fluorescent lights. I, I really don't like those. I haven't used them for years unless I really need to. Um, I just use some lamps. I just find it to be a little bit more pleasant. And the longer this pandemic goes on, the more my office starts looking like a living room. So um, you can see here's my office, a, a larger view of that. So here's my desk. I have a tread desk. I got it from Kyle Reinhiller. I bought it from him a number of years back. And I, I like using it mainly as a standing desk. Um, there's a plant. I have some workout equipment back there and uh, you'll see more of that later on in the video. And then a recliner I just bought there with, uh, I brought it from home just the other day yeah, with a Bill's blanket and there's a couch. And then that plant over there on the right, that one is uh, from Sherry Meister. So, and I think it used to be Bruce Bloomers as well. And then here's my whiteboard. Um, I, that's my big three for the week. Those are the three things I want to get done for the week. And I'll usually change my shoes. These are just uh, Walmart specials, but all I do is wear them inside so I don't track up my treadmill. And then I have my daily list. And I just started this a little bit ago. I used to just keep this in my head, but I decided I'd like to have something to check off. And uh, so I, I look at my planner and then there's John Wesley's uh, prayer. I've added that in there. Uh, Harrisburg did a new consecration Sunday and that was part of it. And I, I, that was a nice way. That's been a nice way to start my day, my work day. So here's my planner. There's the monthly calendar. Um, but the more important thing here at this time of day is my daily calendar. So I'll have to flip it over to the new day. This is Tuesday. Now it's Wednesday. And so that's the, what I want to review. I want to review that and uh, then I'll pray and I'll do John Wesley's covenant prayer. And after I do that, I'm ready to go. I usually double check my phone because I have my calendar there as well. Um, I like that just so that I have those uh, little notifications that'll pop up and um, just uh, make sure I don't skip a break or miss a meeting or anything like that. And so those are usually pretty good for keeping me on track. And then after I do all that, I will go ahead and check it off. And then the, the bottom part, workday shutdown. Um, a lot of these are things that I'm going to focus on throughout the day, like, you know, my email, my inbox, my timesheet, uh, taking breaks, uh, keeping up with my planner, that kind of thing. So I'll just set that aside. And then what I'll do is um, go ahead and move my planner and I, I, and I put it right on the left side of my desk, right in a prominent spot. Um, and I open it up to today's date. And so that way that is looking right at me. And by the way, you're going to see I use, have four different colors of pens. That's actually for a purpose. Um, so here's a closer look at my planner. You see my big three for the day on the left and then my plan on the right. And so green is for things that are supposed to fill me up. Blue is for regular stuff. Red is for appointments. And then I have other appointments there or other tasks on the left. And uh, let me show you too also on the right is where you can keep notes throughout the day. And so like yesterday, here's yesterday's notes of stuff that happened and I just wanted to keep up on that. Um, also, there's a planning time, not just daily planning, but weekly planning. So this is part of the weekly planning where you list what were your wins for the week? Uh, how'd you do on your big three things that you wanted to get done? You know, what would you change? What would you improve? What would you, do you want to stop doing? So what are the your tasks for this current week? And then on this one, what I decided to start doing, and I started doing this maybe uh, a couple months ago, is putting the exercise and prayers on one side. And then I have my big three for the week that ends up on the whiteboard. So here's my setup. I, I, I subscribe to Near IL's indistractable uh, methodology. So I have a very clean desktop um, that 
uh, best desktop background is actually from uh, near IL. And I know this this might be contrary to the indistractable thing, but then I have a boom box. So I'll turn that on. So that way, whatever I listen to, it's kind of surround sound then. It plays out of the computer speakers as well as behind me as well. And what I listen to depends on the time of day. A lot of times it's just quiet, um, but sometimes um, like if I'm cranking on email or doing stuff that doesn't take a lot of mental energy, um, I'll listen to my podcast. So Carrie Newhoff, Dave Ramsey, uh, those kinds of things. And then if there's something, if I feel like music, I have Amazon Prime Music. And so I'll listen to, you know, bluegrass or, or worship or whatever, um, whatever I feel like. So then at 10 o'clock AM, that's when I'm ready for a break. I schedule a break then. And I've, I just started this year do, doing exercise then. Um, it seems like I was running out of time to exercise in the morning. So I thought, well, I'll just do it now. And I planned it out already. So I knew that Wednesday was going to be push-ups. Yeah, and I'll do, uh, you know, probably usually three or four sets of push-ups. I have a weighted vest, which have, helps build some resistance. I'll do um, usually uh, a bunch of different kinds of push-ups. So each set will be a different kind. And then in between sets for my recovery, I'll usually walk and I'll either walk around the office or I'll use my um, use my tread desk and just go at a nice kind of leisurely pace, usually about two miles an hour. I'm not really trying to work up a sweat here and back to work um, at noon. I grab my lunch and head on over to the couch. If somebody else is in the office, I'll shut my door just so I have privacy. And uh, also during the lunch time, I might, um, I, I take a half an hour for lunch and I'll eat. Um, I might read, I might take a nap, just whatever I feel like. I always think I should take a nap every day, but I, I don't always do that. These little thermos things, that happens to be applesauce today, but um, I've, I've liked packing soup too. That's been kind of a nice thing to do during the winter. At 12.30, I'm ready to hit it again. Usually I'll update my timesheet today. So I've kept a timesheet um, probably for the last 20 years. And anyway, I just like to do that. It helps me be mindful of how I use my time. So I already updated that earlier, um, just so you could see it. And then, uh, so I updated on the log and then it come, goes forward to the timesheet. Then this is usually about the first time of the day I open up my email. Sometimes I'll check it way early in the morning around eight o'clock, just real quick. But a lot of times I'll just go there and I will go ahead and uh, clean it out at that time. And that's fairly new. I've been trying to get better at that. And then once I get those things done, I will mark them off. I'll mark off my break and my timesheet and my, my email. Um, and then this, happens to be a day of zoom meetings for the second half and so here's my setup i had that ring light that was an idea thanks to Dwayne coates i have my bluetooth headset which i i like it gives me some freedom and then i usually turn off that lamp so it doesn't look like that i have a halo behind my head and then i do leave my window open so i got something else to look at 3 p.m i'm ready for another break so this one, it happens to be shoulders. So I'm going to do some shoulder presses until I'm tired out from that. And again, in between the, the sets of the shoulder presses, I'm going to go ahead and walk. So again, just enough to keep my accounting muscles ready so I can debit and credit just, just right. So I just, uh, just want to try to stay in decent shape. So. And then usually when we get to about 4.30 p.m., I got another alarm and that's my time to start shutting down. So I'm going to go ahead one more time and check email again. And I'm going to clear it out uh, one more time. And I'm going to update my timesheet as well. 
for the last time and get that taken care of. And then I'm going to go through, make sure, did I check everything off? And then the, the then I get to those bottom two. And one is to start thinking about tomorrow. So what am I going to do on the tomorrow? My Thursday right here is blank. And I got my four pens here. So uh, to color code everything. And then when I get that done, that usually takes five, 10 minutes. I've set my priorities, what I think for um, my other tasks. Sometimes in the morning, I'll add some that I forgot about and my whole schedule is done. Uh, by the way, it's easier because I've already done an ideal week. So I, I have an idea what my week will look like no matter what um, going forward. And another thing, this is the full focus planner and I'll put a link into this uh, description, but um, it's trying to link everything together, your goals, your calendar, your tasks. So here's my annual goals um, and then my goals in more detail. I also throw in here my life plan. I, I just print that out and tape that in there. So I got uh, these are more my life goals and with some intermediate steps in there. And that's been very helpful to put all that in one place. And so when I'm done setting my life plan and then I'll pray and I'll, uh, I'm trying to be thankful. So I'm thanking the Lord for what did get done, even though some days it's a lot and sometimes days it's not so much. But either way, OK, at 5 p.m. Normally what would happen is I would go ahead and uh, turn off my lights, lock my computer. And then I would head on out. Some days, Wednesdays, I do work late. Uh, I do some foundation work. So this happens to be a Wednesday. But normally at 5 p.m., I try to get out. I don't. Uh, I, I try to protect that family time to some degree. And just making sure all the lights are off. And Wednesday, this was a day when I don't think uh, anybody really came to the office. So it was kind of a slow day um, besides Zoom meetings and phone calls and stuff. So that's kind of different. Some days I'll have people pop over and which is kind of nice. And since I walk, uh, Wednesday had happened to snow. It went from rain to snow. So this is what I get to walk home in, yay. And I'll spend time with doing dinner and family time. And usually around 8.30, I get to tackle the dishes. And I like that to some degree It's some time to, um, I, I kind of end up taking that as my entertainment time. I've been watching Alone. Uh, Rod Nock turned me on to that and kind of fun to watch that. And so the dishes get done while I'm being somewhat entertained. Um, also, I got my coffee maker set up for the next day. I got my lunch packed. It's right there on the right. And let's see, there's my lunchbox. So everything's pretty much set up. I'm going to grab my clothes for the next day see this is going on to thursday so i got thursdays and fridays we're in the closet still and i'll go and hang that up and then right around after i get all this done uh usually it's right around 9 30 i'm gonna read to gus for about an hour half an hour and we're we just finished doing some, this 8-bit warrior one and then we're now we're on mm -hmm. percy jackson and then by 10 o'clock I'm ready for bed, uh, usually. I might spend a little bit of time with Betty, depending on how I feel. Um, we might hang out a little bit more, uh, sometimes alone, but a lot of times we have a teenager with us. Um, but I've been trying to read at the end of the day. I don't always do that. A lot of times I just crash, um, but I, I do keep a book by the bedstand, so that way I get a chance to read something right before I go down. It helps calm your mind, I think. And that's my day. Usually by 10.30, I'm asleep and 5.30, I'm going to start it up over again. So I hope that helped. I'm going to leave a couple links here in the description um, of some of the things that I found helpful, like the full focus planner, the intermittent fasting and that kind of thing. Um, I, I don't have a perfect system by any means, but it uh, seems to be working for now. And it's always changing. That's the one thing I noticed is it's always changing and evolving, I think, as we go through different seasons. So anyway, if you like this, uh, 
you probably won't get another one like this again, so tough. Um, but you can find more of our resources at www.dakotasumc.org or dakotasumf.org because this is a ministry of the Dakotas Conference of the United Methodist Church as well as the Dakotas United Methodist Foundation. God bless you.